lie detector test determined that's a lie. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. YTBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison, and I'm going right into the topic. AmeriCon fans, hey, just want to give y'all an apology, and I want to retract the statement. Uh, AmeriCon fans, I actually, you guys are not the worst fans. You know, I've actually enjoyed having conversation and dialogue with AmeriCon fans because you guys in the UK, you guys, you guys know boxing, okay? You know a lot about boxing, and you guys really kept it to the topic of what we were talking about okay um, you know like every now and then I have videos and I call them if you want some come get some that means we can go back and forth in the comment section and I do that from time to time okay um, and the UK fans you guys really understand boxing and you guys bring you guys don't start talking races and that stuff you UK fans you guys really just love the sport of boxing and I can appreciate that Whenever I make up an American video, um, and I know as of late I've been on a con tirade, but guys, American, I think personally, and I'm not. This is not even funny anymore. I think American really does have a psychological problem, and I've seen this before in in some athletes that have a psychological problem, like they really, really, really don't understand reality. You know, like as a coach, you know, I try to push my athletes to success. But on the same token, let's say, for example, if I have an athlete that come to me and it's their senior year of high school and they come in March, okay? And they say, Coach, my goal is to really, you know, win the state championships. And, Coach, I think we can do it. Well, it's March, but the state championships are in May, okay? Now, I tell this person, you know, the probability of you winning the state championships is very unlikely, but it's not impossible. However, you know, if this person, you know, I had an athlete continuously tell me, Coach, uh, I'm going to win state. And I'm sitting here looking. You know, I didn't say anything because I don't kill dreams like that. But the realization is, you know, I have athletes that work many, many years to do that. You know, in order to get the base behind them, to get the weight training, the conditioning, to get all that stuff in place to win a state championship. It just doesn't happen. You know, I've only seen one phenomenal athlete that I coached that was just a quick study of what I was teaching and they did it but it's rare you know and this athlete definitely wasn't a quick study and it's like this kid was completely delusional the whole time delusional and still even when state came still was like yeah I'm gonna win I'm gonna win and even after that you know this athlete kept saying well the reason why I didn't win state is because the officials were cheating I mean y'all seriously delusional and come to find out I didn't know that this athlete had a, a, a certified mental problem. The person had a mental problem. So see, as you see, I think Khan really and truthfully has a mental problem. Okay? First of all, Amir Khan lies. He lies probably about everything. But let's talk about some of the lies that Amir Khan has put out there in, in the media. Number one, Amir Khan said that he sparred Andre Ward. Well, that, was, that, that wasn't true at all. Because Andre Ward said, that never happened. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, next thing. He was, um, I guess he was talking to some reporters. And he said that HBO was filming, you know, I guess filming Manny Pacquiao. And Amir Khan, you know, was saying that he was in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. And he said that he floored Manny Pacquiao and HBO had to stop, you know, had to stop filming. That was a lie. That never happened. Okay, and though I'm not one to completely believe everything Freddie Roach says, I kind of believe this, okay, because if you don't know, Amir Khan has a history of lying. Okay, next, the IBF, you know, I learned this, the IBF, they want Khan to go ahead and fight Tim Bradley, okay, and of course Khan, we know he going to duck Tim Bradley, okay, you know he ducking Kale Brook, because you know he want to take on some mediocre opponent. Now get this, Khan says, the IBF never contacted me about any fight with Tim Bradley. See, that is a lie. That is a lie, Khan. It's a lie. Okay, I, I don't understand. Only reason why I think that this man lies so much because this man really does have a mental problem. 
and I really don't want and, and guys I'm gonna give you the other proof that this man is a liar but moreover this man has a mental problem okay I don't know if y'all remember a couple of years ago the allegations where Khan was online with some woman he didn't know but that, this before he got married uh, you know and his wife was still his fiance Khan was online exposing himself exposing himself to women online well and I guess one of the women recognized him how how'd that happen <laughs> Because a lot of people don't recognize who Khan is, and I guess he knew that, or he thought. So he was exposing himself online. Got caught doing that. And of course, what did Khan do? Khan lied about this, okay? Now, that's a psychological problem. That's truly, I mean, I'm giving y'all proof that this man has a psychological problem, man. And it's really, really bad. It's worse than what people think, okay? Um... And I guarantee if Khan went to go see some kind of psychologist, I guarantee this psychologist would, pretty, would point blank say that, you know what, he does have mental issues. And then, too, he's got, he's obsessed with Floyd and Manny Pacquiao. He's not so much as obsessed with Manny as he is with Floyd. And at first, I just thought that he was just really trying to get Floyd into the ring. But now, it's, it, it's seeming like, you know, like, he's got some kind of attraction to Floyd Mayweather. Like, and I start thinking that when Khan started talking about his shoes were better than Floyd's. Then he started talking about his shorts that he wears are better than Floyd's. Then he started talking about, you know, in that one video, now this was funny. He can jump rope better than Floyd Mayweather. Amir Khan fans, I, I, I can't make this up. I just can't make this up. Okay, I cannot make this up. Okay, and now he's ducking, he's ducking Tim Bradley? He ducking Tim Bradley? I mean, this man has a history of lying. All he do is lie. I bet you his whole marriage was based on a lie. <laughs> Khan would lie about anything. Okay? He lie. So, what do you think? What do you think this man's gonna do next? Cause he's not gonna fight Kell Brook. He not. I think we're gonna have to, as boxing fans, we're going to have to force Amir Khan into that fight. And that's just the way it is. Guys, we can't support this idiot. We cannot support him if he fights Chris Algieri. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. If Khan get in the ring with Algieri, Khan is going to severely hurt Algieri at this stage in his career. Okay? He going to hurt Algieri. I mean, you know, Chris Algieri, you know, uh, skater dude, skater dude. He going to beat the living piss out of skater dude. He going to beat him down. And it's just, you know, there's nothing else to be said. Y'all mark my words. If Amir Khan gets in that ring with Algieri, okay, if he finds a way to get it aired on TV, Chris Algieri is going to get seriously injured. He's going to get beat up, y'all. And I can guarantee he's going to be out of the sport for a long time if he fights Amir Khan. Because quite the contrary, even though Amir Khan has a glass chin, if you put him in a ring with a D fighter, a D level fighter, a C level fighter like Algieri, I give Khan to be a B, but Chris Algieri is a low C-level fighter. Khan would injure this man, okay? He'll injure him, and I'm not even being funny. Um, And another thing, too, and I'm glad that the networks have told Khan, you need to get somebody else in the ring. They're not going to buy Algieri. They're just not going to buy that fight. And then Khan told another lie. He lied on Al Heyman. Like, are you kidding me, Khan? Like, yo, this man, I don't know, man. They need to put Khan in one of those mental institutions for a while. I'm telling you, I lock him up and don't allow him to talk to any news media. Don't allow him to do anything. Put him in one of those rooms. Give him a white straight jacket. Okay, give him soup for his meals. And then let him just sit there and think to himself. Give Khan a month away from us. Okay? I used to actually want to see Khan get in the ring. Because I used to, I was impressed by his skill set. Now, y'all, the man I know has a mental problem. And Khan fans, this probably, a, unless Khan do something else stupid, but you know he is. He always in the news media. He always talking to media. Okay, this man has a problem. Khan needs help. And Amir Khan, if you, if you can hear this video, because we know you do listen to some video channels in the YTBC, Khan. We know this, okay? Khan, you need to go get help, okay? You need to go get help. Hey, listen, one of my best friends, Con, and this is not a joke, YTBC. This is not a joke. She's a psychologist. She's very good. I can send an email, Con, and tell you, you know, how to talk to any, but Con, you need help, okay? You need some serious help. 
I mean, and, and people, you guys in the YTBC, you tell me, do you think this man has a psychological problem? This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. The lie detector test determined that's a lie.